Welcome to Stop Motion Animation Video. My name is Carol Nelson, Library Associate at St. Francis Library. Materials needed. Recording device like a phone or an iPad, Stop Motion Suite app, objects to manipulate, a backdrop, lighting, something to hold your device still, a shelf or a tripod. The free app I'm using today is Stop Motion Studio app. It's for Apple and Android, and it's in the upper row in the middle. Stop Motion Video is a sequence of photos for which an object or a part of an object is moved in tiny increments, with each change in position being captured on a single frame. When all frames are connected together at a high speed, the object appears to be moving. Most objects in stop motion films are things that usually are unable to move on their own. Here are a few examples of stop motion films. This one is claymation. Object animation. Pixelation. Cut out animation. Create a stable place for your camera by a stand, a tripod, or a shelf. Also, you'll need good lighting so either a lamp or a window can provide this. Provide a backdrop for your project. In this cutout video, I use black tag board, but you can use a sheet or a wall or a cardboard, whatever you'd like. Be creative. In the cutout video, I stabilized all pieces with tape on the black tag board, except the blue piece which I moved little by little, taking about 30 photos to make the complete film. When you open the Stop Motion Studio app, this is what you'll see. Tap on the plus sign to make a new movie. This screen has a number of different icons. In the upper left-hand corner is back, then there's voiceover, add images, audios, and credits. There's the settings, there's capture, there's undo, learn more, and play. Tap to edit and double tap for timeline. Under settings, there are many features. The first one is movie speed. Next, fade. Frame sizing. Foreground. Filter. Quality definition. How to play as a loop or not. You can use the free features or purchase a bundle for $5 of all the features. I only use the free features. Tap on the camera to start. This is a recording screen. There are three settings on this page too. The first one is the camera. You can choose the front or the rear camera here. Next is M for focus and exposure. The next plus icon is for zoom. You can see a grid on this page. The grid button is on the left hand side. It has a line through it. It looks like a grid. The grid is used so you can know where you put your last object and you can move it a little by little by little to make your each picture um, in your sequence. 
I will demonstrate a very short sequence in the next few frames so that you can see how it is done, but you will want to do a lot more pictures in your sequence than this. Here's the finished project. Here are additional resources from Minoka County Library. Check them out. We'd love to see your creations. Post them on Instagram or Facebook using the hashtag ACL at home. And we'll see you next week for another STEM Ops.